Welcome back, Owls. I'm Juanita. And I'm Brooke. Glad you all are joining us as we continue to celebrate National FFA Week. In today's segment of Ignite FFA, we hear from community member, school board member, and Elgin alumni, Amber McNeil, and how FFA has impacted her life. What's your name? My name is Amber McNeil. I'm a 1994 graduate of Elgin High School and former Elgin FFA chapter member. Okay, what was your job at FFA? Uh, I served in a few different officer roles. Uh, back then, they had an, an officer called the Sweetheart, the FFA Sweetheart, and there was a Sweetheart contest at, during the State Fair of Oklahoma, and so I was fortunate to experience that. Um, it's kind of a, a pageant minus the talent <laughs> portion. And then I served as um, chapter president my senior year. And at the end of my senior year of high school, I was fortunate enough to be elected to state FFA reporter. And so my freshman year at Oklahoma State University, I spent that year serving the, the Oklahoma FFA Association and its members. Okay, and what did you go to OSU for? I went to Oklahoma State University for agricultural communications. That's what my bachelor's degree is in. And so I um, went through the College of Ag at Oklahoma State and I uh, took a lot of the same journalism and broadcast classes that the JB majors took, but instead of taking humanities, um, I took soil science and meat and carcass evaluation and all of those fun ag classes. Okay, and what did you do now? Uh, currently, I am the regional communications manager for Corvius Military Living. We are a property management and construction company that partners with the U.S. Army and Air Force to provide family housing to military service members. Okay, you said earlier that you went into broadcasting. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, after I graduated from, actually while I was a student at Oklahoma State University, I had the opportunity to work on an agricultural news show called Sun Up. It was broadcast on OETA. It actually is still in existence. Um, and I started out reading the farm markets on SUNUP and then that morphed and grew into um, a reporting position and I even filled in as host of that show sometimes whenever our host was gone. And so um, a few summers into my college career whenever I would come home I went out to KSWO and asked Jan Stratton to give me a job and she started me out as a production assistant running studio cameras, um, ripping scripts, and doing all the behind the scenes work. And then as I got more experience on SUNUP, um, she allowed me to start actually doing some weekend reporting uh, whenever I was home for the summers and over Christmas breaks. And they actually offered me a weekend news anchor and reporting position a couple of months before I graduated from OSU. So as soon as I graduated, um, you know, they tacked on a couple more days of reporting and, and I went to work for KSWO. And recently you were elected to the school board. Can you tell us a little bit about that process? Yes, it was definitely a learning experience for me. Um, I, I don't envy the folks who run for the bigger, um, broader political offices because it was, you know, a school board election on, on that kind of scale seems a bit smaller and it was both exciting and exhausting. Um, I'm glad that it's over and I'm really looking forward to learning and contributing to the board and just, you know, serving our students and parents and community in this way. And do you have anything to say to the voters? Definitely a big thank you. Um, I think our entire community owes a big thank you to Martin Devers. He spent almost 25 years um, on the Board of Education and so you know we owe him a big thank you for that commitment and that service and you know I definitely want to say thank you to our district paten patrons who you know have instilled this trust and responsibility in me to represent them on the board. So what impact did FFA make on you? Uh, I don't I don't think I can really express in words uh, the full impact um, FFA definitely influenced and impacted my life more than any other activity that I was involved in in my school career and I participated in a wide range of activities back then um, you know essentially I joined the organization for the livestock showing 
aspect and learned a great deal about work ethic and grit and you know caring for animals and um, you know breaking ice whenever it's frozen and you know making sure that we're, our animals were well taken care of and then prepared for the show ring and then also the sportsmanship part of it how to win and lose with class and grace and all the friendships that we made but then it also grew into leadership and public speaking and parliamentary procedure and all those things that really uh, provided a, a foundation for me for a future career in communications. Um, but probably the most impactful way um, and, and, and meaningful difference that FFA made in my life was just introducing me to people who served as role models, coaches, mentors, teachers, and those folks really, you know, took an interest in me, believed in me, um, you know, taught me things, um, you know, such as setting goals. Uh, Mr. McGolden was the ag teacher at Elgin back uh, whenever I was a student and he was a tenacious competitor and he instilled in all of his students that same competitiveness. Um, you know, to set goals and, and to not let anyone outwork us. And so that is something that has stuck with me throughout my entire college and now professional life. And then as serving as State FFA reporter, I had an opportunity to really get to know Kent Boggs, who is the Executive Secretary of the Oklahoma FFA Association. And he has been such a mentor to me, um, you know, teaching me basic things about time management, but also about, you know, professionalism. Um, dealing with situations with diplomacy intact and also, um, you know, service to others to have, you know, approach situations with a true servant's heart and that, you know, some of the most meaningful activities that we can pursue are those that, you know, serve others and, and help others and make a difference for other people. So it definitely um, was a life changer for me to get involved in FFA. And what would you say to the students that are participating in National FFA Week? Uh, just have fun and, you know, experience FFA with no regrets, I think. Um, you know, take chances, um, try new activities, and don't be afraid to, to do something different and, and to stick your neck out there a little bit and experience something new and cherish every moment. Do you have any FFA stories that you'd like to tell anybody? Oh gosh, there, there are so many. Um, you know, my, I think my memories in the ag truck and at stock shows and then you know memories of, of basketball are the ones that I, I cherish the most from my high school days um, just funny stories from the locker room funny stories from in the ag truck and and the you know silly things we did at stock shows and speech contests um, it would be hard to pick out just one or two again we um, you know we were we all became very close you know like family and the friends that I made in FFA, um, you know, not just here at Elgin, but across the state, and then at Oklahoma State University are friends that I still have today. And so um, definitely, you know, I encourage the FFA members to, to you know, get outside of Elgin also and, and go to those contests and stock shows and take a chance to get to know new people. And, and those are friendships that you're likely to hold on to forever. Thank you, Amber, for serving and giving back to our community with the skills you first developed through the FFA. We are so blessed to have you advocating for us. We will be back tomorrow with more on National FFA Week. Here are a few reminders for this week. There is a golf meeting for high school boys and girls tomorrow at 7.45 a.m. Sign-up sheets are for both are in the office. Seniors, remember that senior ads for the yearbook are due at the end of this month. No late orders will be taken. <laughs> if you need an order form, see Ms. Albert in room 37 or get one from the front office. Our basketball teams finish their regular season tonight at Clinton. We start district playoffs this weekend. Wrestlers also begin playoffs this weekend. Our baseball and soccer teams are starting scrimmages and will begin their season soon. Spring is coming. Woohoo! Today for lunch, we are having chicken wraps. Tomorrow for breakfast, we're having toast and cereal. Tomorrow for lunch, we are having sloppy joes. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in a moment of silence. Have a great weekend. Oh! <laughs>